Hello. Last time, we just finished beating Undyne. When I say beating, I really mean escaping. And we are now in the hot land. So I guess we should look around. Sorry, Undyne like told us there was totally a human in the area. So like, us royal guards are blocking off the elevators for now. Nyah! Even if the elevators aren't working anyway, we'll do our best, Miss Undyne. Man of many words. <laughs> oh. Tra la la, I am the river man. Or am I the river woman? It doesn't really matter. I'd love to ride in my boat. Would you care to join me? Whoa, um... Let's look around... Uh, then perhaps another time. Or perhaps not. It doesn't really matter. I want to look around the immediate surroundings before we go anywhere else. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Okay, so there's a lab here. And... I think that's it. Oh, it's actually quite a small area. So we have a lab to the east. And... Some sort of unknown area to the... North. And a boat. Okay, everywhere? Ah, I don't know where I should go first. Oh, we can go here first. Why not? Let's try it out. Yes. Please take me with you. Oh. Where will we go today? Snowden or Waterfall? Okay, so is this like a fast travel point? I'm guessing? Oh, that's actually pretty cool then, because I can't go back and visit anything I've missed. So you know what then? In that case, um... Let's try it out first. Then we're off. Tra la la. Why don't you sing with me? Tra la la. Okay. La. <laughs> ah, that's what this map was for. Come again sometime. Tra la la. And she'll be here until I take her again. So, um, I don't know how long it's gonna be since I upload the last video where I was in Snowden, but someone did mention that I should visit the inn and I won't be disappointed. And we have tons of gold, so I don't feel too bad about spending 80G, I think it was 80G, for the night. So that's exactly what we're gonna go do right now. I believe the inn is this way? Mm, yeah. Welcome to Snowden, Snowden's premier hotel. One night is 80G. Okay. Here's your room key. Make sure to bundle up. Oh, wow. They're really loud. Yeah, you look like you had a great sleep. Which is incredible because you were only up there for about two minutes. <laughs> God. Here's your money back. You can pay me if you're going to stay overnight. Oh, wow. So, okay, my HP is 30 out of 20 now. Cool. So the next time we stay, we actually have to pay? I don't know. I don't want to chance it anymore, but... <laughs> hey, that's pretty cool. Yeah, you know, I was gonna ask for a refund because my neighbors were snoring like crazy. Yeesh, but good thing I didn't have to. Okay, so now that we have this fast travel thing... Mm, if you guys know of any cool things that I missed so far... Oh my god, Temi Village? Yeah, I still haven't found that yet. Uh, I'll try to figure it out. It must be around that area, I just don't know where it is yet. Like, I'm thinking it has to be in that area where we ran into that Temi enemy. But yeah, if anyone knows of anything cool that I've missed so far that I can actually go back to, do feel free to tell me, and I'll try my best to see it before I play. With that being said... Tra la la, care for a ride. Yes, and I think we'll go straight back to the Hotland then. I don't know... Yeah, I know the Temi village is in Waterfall, but I don't know where. Then we're off. 
By the way, the head... I was just gonna comment on how I didn't think a dog... Is that a cat or a dog? Wait, Temi Village? The room before the darkening lantern room. What? Did you just give me a hint right when I was telling you that I wanted to look for Temi Village? Alright, man. You, you gotta take me to Temi Village ASAP, like right now. You bring me to Waterfall, please. So, the room before... Oh my god, what did she say? The room before... The lantern darkening room? Temi Village. Oh, she's saying it again. Is she only saying this because the... That's the Temi enemy, right? The thing that we're riding on right now. The room before the darkening lantern room. Okay, if we're getting such a big clue to go, then we have to go back and look for it. So if I remember correctly, there was a room. There was that one room with the lanterns that turn off. Still a kitty. There was that one room with the lanterns that turn off, but then the room before it was the mushrooms one, I think. I have no idea where we are now. Bad memory. Yeah, there we are. Hmm. I wonder if turning off all of them will help. Oh! That's not a good thing. Oh. Hey, we can walk outside here. What? Where am I going? Oh, we can still... Oh, that was weird. That was weird. Like, I turned it off and turned it on again, but kind of screw it up. So by that logic... Okay. Okay, so the Temi Village must be somewhere in here. So I'm just gonna try to randomly bump into the Black Void and hope that we get there. How come some of them don't do anything? Oh! What the hell is this? <laughs> Hoi! Welcome to Tim Village! I I think we found it! <laughs> Hoi! I'm Temmy! And this is my friend Temmy! Hoi! I'm Temmy! And this is my friend Temmy! Okay. Don't forget my friend! Hi! I'm Bob. <laughs> what? Rich history of Tem. So they had these Temmy creatures and there's a dragon in the back. Very wonderfully illustrated. Hoi! You should check out Tem Shop! What? I don't even... You feel... something? You're filled with determination. Ha 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 ha! Wow, I didn't expect that to be that easy to find. But there we go, we're in Temi Village. This place better have something nice to offer. Yeah, yeah, I agree! Should check Tem Shop! That must be the Tem Shop right there. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Humans! Such a... Cute! Tem, watch egg! Egg will hatch! Tem, proud parent! Statue of Tem, very famous! Very! Oh, this really reminds me of the... The Doge meme. <laughs> Tem hurt human allergics to them. That okay, Tem understand. Tem, also allergic to Tem! Oh no! He's breaking out! Hives! Feeling of being watched. <laughs> it symbolizes my inner torment trapped here by my hyphy. 
My struggle to pull away, my struggle to escape, but alas, to no avail. You know what, I'm gonna have to do that again because I was standing right in front and I couldn't say anything. <laughs> if only I could see the world above. But even if the barrier was open, how would I leave? Okay, so at first you look at it and you think that those two dots are the eyes, but no. It's actually the nose. Mushroom dance, mushroom dance, whatever could it mean? If only I could see the world above. But even if the barrier was open, how would I leave? Okay, not much else. It's hard-boiled. Nobody tell her. Are they hers? I feel like the, um, a lot of things in this world are gender ambiguous, so maybe I should just stick to calling everything they or them from now on. Tem shop! Hoi! Welcome to the Tem shop! Whoa. Hoi, I'm Temmy. Hi, Temmy. Hoi! I'm Temmy. Hoi! I'm Te- Okay. Temmy history. Us Thames have a deep history! Yeah, yeah! Go to Thames shop! <laughs> what do you have? Okay, okay. Tem flake, three gold, heals two HP. Probably not. Tem flake on sale! Discount food of Tem! Oh my god. That's a really good deal. That's like 60% off. 3G to 1G! Heals 2 HP, 20. Hey! So there's a there's a normal version, there's an on-sale version, and there's an expensive version. Cool. 1000 G, 10 pay for college. Holy crap. I'm sorry, colleague. College 10 pursue higher education. Wow. I wish I had 1000 to give you. Oh! I can sell my stuff! Uh, I don't think I want to sell any of my food items though, but the stick, the stick goes for 150. Holy crap. Oh, you know what? Can we grab some items from our box? Toy knife. Uh, we probably don't need a bandage or tough glove. I have no idea what we need and don't need. I want to keep the snowman piece, obviously, but uh, I kind of also want to keep the toy knife just because it's the only thing that reminds me of the ruins. So, and Toriel. <sighs> Let's see how much they go for. Oh, they have different names. Tough glove, 50, holy crap. Whoa! You gotta, tough gloves! <sighs> I gotta have that tough gloves, but I gotta pay for college. <sighs> Tem always want tough gloves! Whoa! Wait, why is she willing to pay me more? What? Why are they willing to pay more? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah! Thanks, purchase. You can have the bandage, too. No, if I say no, will you give me? No? Okay. Oh, wow. I am... Overflowing with the cash now. Boy! Wow. Is there any other word that describes what I'm feeling right now besides wow? Uh, we can probably give her the man the manly bandana too. Mandana! <laughs> 50G? Sure. Hey, thanks man! I don't think that helped up your college fund though. But, good luck with that. Is that the only thing here? Wow, that's... Oh, this poor guy made him break out in hives. I guess we're leaving for now then. Huh. How do we not see that the first time around? Gotta be more observant. Sometimes I can have really bad tunnel vision, so I do apologize if I'm missing anything super obvious. 
But I guess now, now that we're done with Temi Village, thank God we found Temi Village. Now I can sleep at night. And we can also go back... We can go back to the hot land now. Tra la la, care for a ride. Thank you. I would love to extend my thanks to this river person. Okay, without this river person, I would not have been able to find that. Hmm. Should have worn a few million more pairs of pants today. Are you not wearing pants? Thank you. Come again sometime, I will. Okay, we've done quite a few things now, and I don't think we can go past there. Because something about Undyne. Undyne told us- Oh! Oh, you know what? Undyne! Undyne. I want to phone Papyrus. Ring, ring. Hmm. A mysterious science house. The sign outside says lab. Lab? Like, laboratory. Labradory? Does that mean there are dogs inside? I mean, I wouldn't rule it out. <laughs> they both answered my phone. But no, I wanted to phone Papyrus because I remember that he said we should hang at Undyne's house. How did I go to Undyne's house? It was next to Napstad Look's house, which is in the waterfall. I guess we're going back to the waterfall. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing right now. Am I spending a lot of time doing nothing? Okay, yeah, the boat is normal again. Eat a mushroom every day. Why? Then I know you're listening to me. Okay. Now that we escaped from Undyne and we helped her out, I'm hoping... She's going to be at home. Like Papyrus said, we should hang out and chill with or without Netflix. No, not here. Oh, but I want to visit Napsap look too. Hey, buddy. The sea's labeled Spooktoods. Oh, I didn't get to play this last time because I was too tired after lying down. Oh, a classic spook tune. They don't make songs like this anymore. The CD is labeled Spook Wave. Oh, it's like a remix. Dang, that ambience. It's like my whole body is being spooked. That's wonderful. Well, I'm glad we came back here to see this. To keep working on the mix CD. Okay, you do you. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's go visit. Un oh, look at that! Does Lundine play the piano? It sounds wonderful. Oh, -ho, the human arrives. Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends! Hell yeah, we're gonna hang. Okay, stand behind me! Psst! Make sure to give her this. She loves these. Is that a bone? Are you sure you're not the one who loves that? Papyrus? Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am, and I brought a friend! <laughs> Hi, I don't think we've... Why don't you two come in? Sounds like we're gonna be great friends. Here, Undyne! My friend brought a gift for you on their own! Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. 
So, are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie, I just remembered! I have to go to the bathroom! You two have fun! <laughs> So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? No, no, no. Friends, friends. Then why are you here? <gasps> Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? Yes! Really? How delightful! I accept! Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship! Not! Why would I ever be friends with you? If you were my house guest, I'd beat you up right now! You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams! I will never be your friend! Now get out of my house! Dang, what a shame! I thought Undyne could be friends with you! But I guess... I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Oh, thank you, man. Papyrus, thanks. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you? <laughs> what a joke. I can make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be... Besties! I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> it's the perfect revenge! Why don't you have a seat? That is the smartest thing Papyrus has done all game. Oh my god, I love you so much, man. Can I take a look around your house first, though? One time, Alphys is a... Friend? Came over. All he did was lie seductively on the piano and fed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy. But I admire his lifestyle. Alphys, who is Alphys? Oh, th thank you for letting me know that sitting down means progressing. That's actually really appreciated. <laughs> Humans suck, but their history kind of rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans wielded swords up to 10 times their size. Right? Of course. Heh! <laughs> I knew it! When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. So me and Alphys built a giant sword together. She figured out the specs herself. She's smart, huh? Who is this Alphys? Is it her bestie? I mean, other than me, of course. I hate cold food. So Alphys fixed up my fridge, so it heats up food instead. Hot fridge, the world's greatest invention. There's a silverware drawer. It has forks, spoons, knives, tiny swords, axes, spears, nunchucks. <laughs> this oven is some top of the line MTT thing. But no, as much as technology advances, Nothing beats food home cooked with fire magic. MTT. I think we've heard that acronym a few other times. Papyrus has mentioned it once before, I think. I'm not sure what it is, but it might be related to the thing in the lab in the hotland from the way she talks about it. In the sink is a teacup in the shape of a fish. Oh, that's right. Undyne is a fish, right? It's so nice to have you over. Why not take a seat at the table? <laughs> Oops. You want to see my room? Too bad! No nerds allowed! Well, maybe some nerds. You mean Alphys? I can't believe he leapt through the window like that. Normally, he nails the landing. Alright. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. All set. What would you like? <gasps> hey! 
Hey, don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. <sighs> Calm down. Oh, I'm feeling a little bit threatened here. Let's see what we got. T-Box, blatantly correct choice. <laughs> Hot chocolate, green cylinder. What? Soda, sickly yellow liquid. Sugar goes in tea. Ah, yeah, bleh. Blatantly correct choice. Can't go wrong with that. Tea, huh? Coming right up. I'm way too afraid to move. Take a moment for the water to boil. Okay, it's all done. I'm not moving an inch. Here we are. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot, just drink it already. <laughs> it's burnt. <laughs> but other than it being burning, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Hey. You know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt... bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if... I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just... well... I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's... He's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you. And he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, sorry. I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus. His cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now! And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him! That's right! Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking. Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine. <laughs> Afraid? 
We're gonna be best friends! Holy shit. Let's start with the sauce. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists. Of course, strong pound. Yeah! <laughs> you punch the vegetable at full force. You knock over a tomato. Yeah! Yeah! Our hearts are uniting against these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn. Yeah! Holy shit. Uh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now, we add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. But I just buy store brand. They're the cheapest. Uh, just put them in the pot. Fiercely! You throw everything into the pot as hard as you can, including the box. It clanks against the empty bottom. No water? Yeah, I'm into it! Alright, now it's time to stir the pasta! As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is! Ready? Let's do it! Oh yeah, I'm gonna freaking I'm gonna stir this pasta. Stir harder! 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 Ugh, let me do it. <sighs> That's the stuff. Alright, now for the final step. Turn up the heat! Let the stove top symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Hold right, uh. Oh, yeah! Yeah, turn it. Hotter! Hotter! Darn it! Hotter! Wait, that's two. Ah. Man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. <laughs> so what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. Undyne, I already love you, okay? I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. Oh, come on. I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch. All out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you've got. Nah! Undyne is letting you make the first attack. Hmm. Let's check her out. This time, don't hold anything back. Show me what you've got. Oh, okay, we get to attack first. Fake attack. You pretend to swing at Undyne with all your might. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force. You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid saccharine shtick, but... The way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart, just like him. Listen, human. It seems like you and Asgar 
are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here, and I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what my friends are for, right? <laughs> now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh! And if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk! That? <laughs> just, just give me two seconds. I need a drink first. Wow, that was an experience. <laughs> that ranks pretty highly as one of my favorite things from Undertale so far. I don't know if it can get any better than this. Sounds like only fire lives here now. Oh, you know what's really sad? It looks like the house is crying. I'm so sorry, fish house. This guy's still just gonna be here. Man, that was... That was an experience. <laughs> you know what I want to do now, though? I still don't want to go back to the lab yet. What I really want to do? Hey, where is that uh, river person? Down here? I forgot where the river person is. But I want to go to Snowden. I want to go to Papyrus's house. There's the Temi head again. Tra la la, care for a ride. Because if they are there again, I want to hang with them. I want to hang. Thank you. You know, everyone is so nice here. I can't handle it. Hey! Hey, punk! What's up? Ah, chew! Papyrus, how can you stand this cold? I have no skin! So why don't we stand in Grillby's instead? Because I hate grease! But you don't have a stomach! No, but I have standards! <laughs> God! I'm so glad you and Undyne are friends now! You two go together like pasta and burning! <laughs> oh, I love my new friend so much! I love you both! I'm gonna cry. Is Sans not gonna come out? Don't you wanna join us? The door is locked. Alright then. Oh, I just feel so. I feel all warm and fuzzy inside right now. But I think our business in Snowden, aside from talking to them, is done now. <laughs> I forgot he was standing right there. How nice of you to check my mail for me. Wait, no. That's very strange. <laughs> Sorry. <gasps> hey, if it's two mailboxes for the same house, does that mean that Papyrus is getting no mail, but Sans is actually extremely popular? Hmm, I wonder. But yeah, like I said, I think our business in Snowden, at least for now, is over. So we're actually going to go back to the lab now. Hopefully we find something exciting there.